Well, this is a hopefully a shorter video on how to fit this Hornby Maglite lighting unit with lots of LEDs basically uh, to their new range of Mark III BR Mark III coaches, irrelevant of what the um, livery is. Uh, I've filmed this before when I my previous model railway video when I um, did that window, that dark coloured window with a frosted effect and we didn't actually go to plan it's rather a long video so i thought it's worth uh filming this how to fit this mag light thing again on a, uh, an independent video so forget that but we let there were lessons learned so hopefully we put these lessons learned into practice one of the lessons learned is read the instructions fully <laughs> so there's a mark three coach it's irrelevant that i've picked one of the dining restaurant cars buffet cars call them what you want because the lighting unit is the same either way for all of them i think which does has does cause a few problems in certain types of coaches especially this one because the lights don't actually align with the windows you want them to all right so the first thing is open the box you get one box put one light unit per coach i think they're about 12 quid each at the time i bought them Few months back, so open it up and get with it a little blister pack and some instructions. And get them out. I've had them out before and I accidentally ripped it. Never mind. All right, put the box out of the way. You don't need to refer that anymore. I've got foreign foreign language on one side and our side and the English side. This side, which is handy. Right, so open the blister pack. Well, no, I'll point out what's what first, I suppose. Battery, which fits in the compartment. Get it, oh, the lighting's terrible. There it is, you can see the outline of it there. The magnet, there's one I from the other one, and you see the other side. Just wave over the top, as I can demonstrate on this one, I suppose. If I know which end the magnet's in, I think it's this end. That work. Yeah, see. You can, now, you can, oh God. now you can see the lights are on. But of course through um tinted windows that this particular LSL LSL Mid Midland Pullman has, they don't show up very well. No, never mind. Such is life. Don't know until you try, do you? And it will remember to turn the flipping things off, of course because they're so dull you can't see they're really on not in bright daylight anyway and of course when you do come to use it your batteries are going flat that's probably what you might say that's one of the problems with magnetic lights is you can forget to magnet them off and the other bit is um the actual led strip control uh pcb i presume it's got resistors oh, i don't know and the battery holder I think the battery holder will be built into the loco when they, I mean the carriage when they built it, but they're not. So it comes across over here. A bit too easy if you ask me. Yeah. Anyway, that makes life easier, doesn't it? Useful thick, strong bit of cardboard there for any model building makers. Yeah. Put the battery to one side. Yeah, that comes neatly in a little bag, that's handy. And another magnet so the trouble is with every coach you buy one of these for you end up with loads of these which is hmm maybe hornby should have sold those as a do they attract no they don't they're pushing against each other hmm. anyway put them to one side you only really need one don't you for a set unless you can spread them around one in your toolbox one in your in the box containing your your, your train if you like me and don't have a layout permanently and go to clubs to, to run them so you have to ab ab abide by these instructions so the first thing is remove the body and the six clips along the body edges now luckily these carriages come apart quite well I'll put that to one side a loco 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 type cradle will be handy to save scratching the paint or rubbing it on your worktop workbench call it what you want so there are six clips along here somewhere. 
I suppose, did I show them on here? Mm, I do sort of there-ish, I suppose. Uh, uh, as it's at uh, uh, an angle there. Uh, I don't know, about out there, one in the middle and one at the similar end. So I just have to poke around. I'll put it like that. I use one of these. This dentisty type nickel or palette type mixing tool with a nice smooth round end but slim but not sharp. That's just what I use. You know if you use your fingernails or Something that if it's scratchy, see what something does just goes in there. And what the last thing you want to do is go and skid down the side. But this thing just goes nicely like that. See, and you've got to find out what to grab hold of to pull it up with. Right now, let's give it a I gave it a slight twist, only a slight twist like that, and it's come up. And do one in the middle, remember, just put it in like that and run it along. I suppose, yeah, there's a clip there. I felt it, I felt something anyway. Yeah, there it is. And they run it along. Ah, hang on. They say there's six clips. I think they're lying. I think there's eight. There it is. Oh, yeah. See them? You can just see them against the blue. Look. One, two, three, and the light. There's one there. Four. So four per side is eight. So, hmm, their instructions. They must have found six wasn't enough and changed the design and forgot to update the instructions. All right, turn it around. Let's do something similar this side, and it should ping off reasonably easy. Yeah, there's one on that side, and out it comes. All right. Yeah. Now, well, this coach is probably quite easy to work out which ends which, because obviously the windows go with the seats. There are no, not many windows this end or that side, so that's where the kitchen bit goes. See. Don't get it the wrong way around. So that's not too important. The only bit you need is this bit, the chassis and seats, and there's this, the lighting bar strip. Now, you look at that straight away, and the first thing you, you probably think of is, oh, Hornby have put it in upside down. Um, where's that light? It's not doing too well, this thing. Now, it looks like a railway track. You think, oh, the LEDs are going to sit in that groove, aren't they? No, they don't. That's just a straight, they're just strengthening ribs to rigidize it, to use the American eyes on the end of some words. All right, now, these are all uh, screws to remove. One there, and one there. Even though there's other holes, that they're not used. They're used for something else. And there's another little one there on the other side, which I think is used for the PCB. That little PCB. In that hole there, see it? Let's get that. Where's that hole? There it is. Yeah, I think, <laughs> if I remember rightly. So, take the lighting bar off, and I'll get my screwdriver out. Special little mini screwdriver here, very nice one. I'm not going to keep talking about tools, I'm sure you've got your own. Uh, is this the wrong one? Uh -huh. That does it, that does it, that fits just carefully removing. Ah, when doing this, got part of my arm, it's always wise to have something like this. Put the little screws in, not have them lying or rolling around the bench because they're really small. You don't want to lose them. Put them in there, and I think there's two different sizes for this if I remember. I remove that one on the other end. should just come off like that and there's the other screw see it there which holds a PCB in there let's put that down there and the PCB goes on the seating end and we're looking at this I don't think it matters that much because that looks it's actually one screw only but turn it around 
that looks the same shape but there's no screw in there so they don't provide a, a screw on both ends you could use as a spare in case you lose it which would have been a good idea by them I think but they haven't but once you remove that screw I suppose it doesn't matter which way around that bar goes as long as you get the underside where the, where the lights go is just plain see just plain smooth so don't go get it wrong and try to fit the, the LEDs into that groove tr between the tracks, which is actually strengthening ribs. Alright, the next bit is, they say, is two, what is that, remove the screws from the battery housing. Oh yeah, remove the screw from the battery housing. Right, which is a completely different type of screw. Can you see that? Yeah, the thing, lighting up black is difficult. Alright, I'll do it. It comes away and put it in a different one. Now, yeah. yeah, I think it's a little countersunk head job in. Let me see it. Mm. I don't know if that's focusing or not. Alright, now I can remove this. This thing again is perfect for this. Get the light there, you can see it. And just ping it up, I suppose. There we go. Yeah, and put it out of the way. Now, what I did look wrong last time was I fitted the, the LEDs to the light bar before I put it through that hole there. And now, and it does do it if you do it the other wrong way around by not reading the instruction in the right order, but it's preferable that you feed feed the light bar or the unit or this lot clobber through there first. I think. That's what they tell you to do. Uh, I think it's all all together as one. Yep. So be careful of those delicate wires. What we got? And we've got some double-sided tape. Well, that's the bit you have to remove to stick to down under the side of that bar there. But I don't do that just yet. So the first thing is to alright the battery unit. Look at it the way they've done it, you want it this way around. So that's how the, how the instructions show it there, see? Right yeah, there, that way around. So, which way, whereabouts does that wire go? It goes through the thick end by the looks of it. I mean that square bit, not, not through the half round. See the difference, see the holes? It goes through this rectangular end. Of the recess thing. So, oh yeah. So this has got a plus on it. Can you see the plus there? And that is pointing well this way, so you can see it basically. Basically, it's pointing down, but from an assembly point point of view, it's pointing up. So I'm going to feed that through there. I don't know, put this bit of white cardboard that came with it underneath it. Can that help a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. Right, you go through there. Just go you through carefully, not to yank on any wires so they get caught or anything else. Now, that thing has got to go through there. How does that go through there? That's not going to be. How do they intend that to go through there, I ask? Without damaging any wires. Hmm. Mm. I want that to go. Am I supposed to remove the seat? Ah! I think you're supposed to remove the seating unit. Yes, that would help, wouldn't it? See, did I remove the light? Ah. See, live and learn. I forgot this seating unit comes out. More screws. From here at each. Lighting's terrible, you've got loads of lights here, you still can't see anything. Hey, there's one each end. I say, there's no way that's going to fit past that, all that lot, is it? So, again, live and learn. Put that in another one over there. Yeah, three different types of screws there. Different head types and different lengths. Whether they're the same thread or not, I don't know.
Right, now does it matter which way around this goes? It probably does now because of all the all the various grills and things. So, uh, hmm. Not sure. Uh, well, that's one way of checking on this model anyway. The battery compartment is at the seating end. Battery compartment, seating end. Right, keep those together, that'll help. Right, take that out of the way then. Put that over there. Now this thing should feed through. Ah, now we've got a nice clear hole. Right, good. <laughs> Why didn't I work that out before? Oh. Right, so feed it through here first. Carefully push the PCB through. Don't force anything if it feels like it's stuck. You can rip those wires off of the PCB. Right, now that goes there. Now flip it over. And that should... Where's that plus? There's a plus. And I still don't know why we've got three terminals. As you can see there, three terminals. And one isn't used. But there's a plus there. See it in the light? And that's supposed to be this side. Now I suppose you don't push it fully in because you have to rotate it up, push the battery in, click it down. So we'll do that later, I think. Just locally put it in there. Now, these wires now have to go along here. Not quite. Yeah. Okay. So that doesn't really look right to me the way they've drawn it again they've drawn it wrong because these two wires coming out you know he's got three terminals and they're offset this side with the plus side showing but the groove for the wires is this side hmm so i'll put it the other way around this way around will that, will that, does that work that way round, that way round. Oh, hang on. That's right, yeah. So the negative is, is a minus. I thought it was just a slot, it's not. There's a, okay, you can see it's a minus side. See that sort of slightly depressed hyphen thing. That's a minus side. So again, push that in the, that where it should be. I don't like the way that this. Does that really want to fit in that way? I'm not so sure it does. Is there a, Designed to fit both ways? Hmm. Doesn't look like it it'll make any difference. Why is that tighter this way than the other way? Oh, there it goes. Alright. Now you can see the wires are more on the groove side. This thing needs to be in the groove. Carefully manipulate them over this way. And that's it. So you don't want the wires crossing over. I'm trying to get the light right for this. Why can't I get the light right? What's the matter with this thing? Uh, so, you get them in there. Get the wires in the groove, side by side, not crossing over. Don't want them getting pinched when you put the... Um, I lay them across there like that. Now, right, I'm holding it with my finger at the minute. So what you now need to do is to hold those wires in place. So what I'll do with that is a bit of uh, insulation tape, not masking tape, insulation tape. This just happens to be brown. Good stuff this is. Very old. So I'll just cut a bit off. All right. All right. All right. All right. I don't know. That's about what's that, an inch and a quarter long. Put it on the bench, cut it in half. Put it in two places with a, a modelling knife. Done that. Tweezers, pick it up. Well, yeah, they've got like that now. So, if you get it wrong, it's there. It's easy to peel away again. So, push the wires in place in one position. <sighs> Stay still. And then things keep pinging about all over the place. Actually, it's best to have a bit of a bit of slack here, I think. A bit of slack. Good idea. Do that. Put an, a loop. So that when you pull the battery, you can pull the battery compartment 
it out a bit. So like like that, I think is a good idea. We'll see how that goes. Put that on there. Just for starters. And pull this up and over out. Hold it down. Like that. There we go. You can still slide the wires underneath it. I think. There we go. Oh, another one just here. This is a bit of a faff, you know, this is. Not half as easy as Hornby make it out to be. Just there. Leave a little bit at the end of the slot there. Can get it in the light and see. So that the wires can bend up. Like that. And I'll push the tape fully down. There we go, like that. Push it down, push it out. Right, now what do we do? Yeah, no. One thing you have to watch with these is this, well, I forget what you call this coupling. But you've got to make sure this thing, this coat hanger thing, is properly located in that when you push the, um, in its recess. Uh, that's pretty cool now, I've got and make the um with, with my hands the um the bogey yeah. and that's it nice bit like that. It, it, the whole thing that does does that. I've got a, I've got a name for it, I can't think of what it is. It, it it doesn't just do that. It allows that to go round corners better. For long coaches. You, you won't find it on wagons but you'll find it on or little wagons but you find it on bit long coaches. Right, now we've got to feed this through now. The um, right, battery compartment goes through the seating end, that was it. So somewhere there, it's going through the slot. Now where's it going through now? Oh, that's it, it goes through, there's a slot here. See that slot? It goes through there. Like that. Well, that is what I do like this. There you go. So, now I've got the tricky bit, I'll push it, I'll get in that coupling back in the right place. So that's got to go like that, down, hold it so the boomerang's in the right place, like that. Get those wires in that slot, like that. Hold it in place and get that screw in quick. Pin it together with top and bottom. I think I'm going to use a different screwdriver for that, that screw. This one's too big. I should change the blade. There we go. I've got a slightly smaller one. Cause either, even though the screws are the same size, the slots aren't. They're not to any particular standard, I don't think. So the slots vary from manufacturer to manufacturer, these screws. And they shouldn't do. Right, that's where tweezers come in. Oh. Now these tweezers come in. Let's get these out again. These tweezers, these are good for picking up screws. Like that. And you can place them in the hole a lot easier. Let go. Put the screw on. Oh, he says, and fumbles it. Come on. Go on. Start. There we go. Just nip it up. No. Nope. Don't tighten it and give a half a turn for luck. That's the worst thing you can possibly do with the plastic threads and brass threads coming in it. Check the bogies work. Or oh, check the coupling works. Uh, it's still, I remember that from last time. Deal with that in a minute. Right, check that thing is you can't like you can't see what I'm talking about here, but basically you're doing the same as you do the other end. Get that boomerang thing in the right place. Pick up the screw. Carefully turn it over. Goes in there somehow. Let 
going in or just going round and round and round? There we go. Right. Oh, carefully don't de de damage the wires fucked about on the other end. Right. We need to do this now, I'm afraid. It's a hornby, oh, look at that, it's stiff, it's not moving. You now have to undo these a bit. They've made the boomerang too thick. And really, when you tighten this screw up fully, it should be in a loose tolerance. But it isn't. It's, it's slightly larger than the, than the depth of the groove, so when you tighten this up, it actually clamps it rigid, which is wrong. So you've got to fine-tune this. Not so loose that the screw falls out. That's it, that's how it's still sticky. Eighth of a turn. That's it, should do it, you shouldn't have to push it. It'll just go boing. That's it, oh, white card idea, it's not quite good. You can actually see it now, be careful on this end, because the wires are dangling. And do the same. See, look. Stiff and stays put. But as I undo that, hopefully, I'll ping it back again. There you go, see? <laughs> now, well, it's still a bit sticky. Yeah. Not smooth, that's what I mean. Another eighth of a turn, not a quarter of a turn. That's better. See, Hornby won't put this in their instructions, will they? So, uh, makes me, my video legitimate, I think. Not just trying to get views because I'm doing videos. Right. So. So battery, this end, of that. Now, there's the screw that holds that little PCB. So I suppose that needs to go on next. I'm still coming up that. Um, uh, which, there is a way. Uh, which way around is that going now? I show it going underneath. Is that correct? Oh yeah, there's a little little stop. See that little tab thing sticking up? Right, let's undo it. Oh, there's a screw that I've gone back there. Undo this screw. Take it out. Put it in there. I hope we don't get anything. No missing the screw. Right, now. Oh. How does this go now? We've got this bit here, which I think is the magnetic bit that goes in that gap there. And they show it attached to the underneath, don't they? Yeah, they're saying it's come down from the underneath. Which is this way. And their diagram is wrong again. Let me just point this out so you see. There's lots of things wrong with a lot of their instructions. As you see, there's the rectangular board, and that's the thin end, that end and that end, and the wires are coming out the thin end. Well, they don't. There's the real thing. As you can see, the wires come out one side only. Well, I mean the, the long side. But there you go. Whatever. Um, so that now fits to the underside of this. Let's make sure we don't get all this twisted up. Singing free space. So they're putting it that way around, is it? Nope. That obviously has to go that way around because there's the boss, there's the stop, and there's that magnetic sensor thing. Alright, so that has to go that way around. Somehow. And according to that, the, um, well, it can only go one way, I think. Yeah, because that hole's at this end, isn't it? So, somehow... Which screw was it? It was that screw, wasn't it? Uh, let's pick it up with these... Oh, that's a self-tapper, this one. Well, they're all self-tappers, I suppose. This bigger cap-head one. A bit like a cheese head, if you... And this is what I don't like when they do that. Come here. 
get it go through the hole. That's it. Through the hole. Hold it in place the best you can. Don't drop anything. Carefully do it up. Make sure no wires are trapped coming out here. And just nip it up no more. You can feel it stop and then stop. Don't you don't ever do another half any part of a turn. Now you should be able to see here. I'll just keep using that. It'll stop. I can't bring it up. It's now attached to the wires and lift the whole coach up. Might snap. But the edge of that PCB butts up against that little tab thing. The holes this end, as you can see, there's actually an air gap underneath it. You should be able to see it in the light against the white. I can remember to do this white bit, it's handy better than green. And um, the sense of it, what looks like a a small electrical le light tube thing, fits <laughs> in that slot. That recess, that cut out, cut out, what do I call it? I don't know, relief. Know what you want anyway so now we're attached we're ready to actually put it's this way around that way around yep we're ready to put the leds on here so that wire's got to be bent around let's make sure let's see how this fits first i don't want to trap those put them in a certain route and then finally get trapped and we've got a gap here as you see but these bosses here these two what one of these fits on that blue boss there where the screw goes there's a relief here the wires go in that gap there between the, where that mounts and this level there this is probably the toilet <laughs> pretending to be so just do a trial fit just lay it in place before we tighten any screws up these wires will keep bouncing around you don't want them bouncing around a mind of their own so that's going to go like that on that one only and that's going to go on that one only is that correct sure there's no pinch points and of course this will have to go under there too so that uh, how's that going to go through there okay it's got to go through there this is how fast this is anyway looking at that that's all right Good idea if, if you can actually get I took my can't really see that can you? Try and get those wires like that. Get around there. They should really provide little clip things for them to these wires to click into. Like that. What you want to try to achieve. See it like that, you can see it. Around that boss. Like that. So not pulled taunt. So can I put another little bit of tape on now? I probably can. I just happen to have a bit already on here. It's gonna be a little bit of tape, isn't it? Like that. Lift it up. You can't see what I'm doing. Doesn't matter if there's a bit of tape, just a little strip. Like that. A little do a bit of tape. And I'll put it there. Like that. It'll stick to the stick to that and not to me. Let's get it to stick to something to start with. And we can manipulate it. Oh, well, if not, it could be just be temporary until the because obviously the LEDs are self adhesive themselves, just holds it in place. So, uh, while you start, I've got some pinging around or whatever, something like that. Uh, right, now, what you don't want to do is undo this whole thing in one go. I'll do it bit by bit. So, I'm going to hold the wires down with my thumb like that, this end. Okay, like that. Uh, using the tweezers, if I can. I've got my things focusing on or not. Get hold of that. Yeah, get hold of the um, double back protective wax papery bit like that, and start it off. And what I do, if I get so far, 
an inch, two inches, come on, let's stick it back again, and fold it back on itself so it doesn't keep flapping about like that without touching the self-adhesive, like that, okay? Hold it backwards, line that up in the middle of the strip, hold it down, keep it nice and parallel with the edge of this, whatever the plastic bit's called. Pull it the bar if you want. Right, then you can get hold of this bit, you see, and carefully just move it along bit by bit, like this. Once you're started, and you won't get any air bubbles in it. Bit more, press down. Bit more, press down. Bit more, and work your way up. Think, and the whole thing holds itself in place a bit more. If you had it all off in one go, it'd be sticking to everything, I suspect, including itself. And you really don't want that to happen. You know, fiddling about with Christmas, wrapping Christmas presents, and the last thing it's sellotape sticking to bits and you know, ripping the paper as it's stuck to the wrong bit. There we go, it should just fit with that. Oh, my head up all there. Oh. Just poke down all the way along. There you go. So you can hold that, get that all the way. Hold that so you can see. Yeah, get in the light and you can see if you think that's good enough. Do this slowly so that auto focus picks on the correct thing. There you go, think. Right now, so we're back to the wires at this end. So, uh, that can still stay there, I think. Get that down there, take this, flick it around. That's the um, insulation tape to get that as wide so they don't get caught in that boss. Oh, one of those blooming things. Get out of it. That's a legacy of having fishing ground bait in the house. There's certain little beetles that feed on the damn stuff. You can't get rid of them once they get played with the damn thing. Alright, I'll get that in there somehow. That's it, push that down. Hold it like that and then check those wires. Use some pair of tweezers and give them a wiggle. Check they're not pinched. If they go back with the fours like that, then they're alright. And the other side. That's it. Right, so that, that fits in a lug just there, that, can you see that, that fits in that, on the end of that lug boss. Right. So holding that down like that, while I put it down, I can put these two screws back. Put that in there, like that. Then just nip it up and turn it around to do the other end, which is on that side. I think originally they had plans to have two bosses coming up here because this is locked. Look, it can twist one. Light in again. It can twist. It's only on one side, see? It's a bit weird. It does a job, but it's. I don't think it's right. It's a design that's been changed, cheapened, remove a boss. It saves us one screw. That makes a lot of difference to the two then. Right, and there we go. Installed. I think I'll knock on the white bit of cardboard there. Straighten it up, and you can see the LEDs, little rectangular things hanging down from the top. There's the wire in this end. It should be nothing pinched there. Let's again check, final check. And if you move, that is that's where the wires attached to the board, so don't go pulling those ones. And that rip them off the board. And this is not very strong, is it? Doesn't, but then again, it doesn't have to be. It's a bit wibbly wobbly. Yeah. 
doesn't matter because nothing's going to uh, touch that check the kit these are still work that works yeah this end oh, you can actually see see the boomerang working in there can't you oh yeah i'm seeing the light can you see it where's the light not being clear you just see that one of the arms there can't use the other one i think that's a light gleaming on it yeah fiddly things and the bogus are totally independent of, of the connect uh, connections couplings yeah and you might have noticed i put the uh oh no the, the, these are the the stack the, the new magnetic ones that come with the coach anyway they're supplied with they're not supplied with them they're supplied as options i only recommend you put them on and rather than standard hook 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 things Right, now yeah, we've got to put the. Now, I think the first thing we should do is check before we put the roof on, check it works. Put the battery in, of course. So, where's the battery? There it is, over here. So, I've done it with a negative up, remember, see the negative symbol. Now, the batteries come, and that's. Let's see, just about, see, just there, the little plus sign. And it's also the bigger diameter. They they go down a bit on this court. On this one, there's a dimpled side. The dimpled side is a negative. So we're going to put the battery in negative up this way round. So put that down. Pull this up. Let's see if we can get my finger underneath it. Won't do it. <laughs> That's a bit tricky bit of getting it out of here. How do we get it out of here? Come on. Uh, this way, thumb, put my thumb down like that way. Oh, there you go. Best not to try pull it out, just twist it like that. But stick it up at an angle here, yeah? like that. Hinge it. It'd been better if I wanted designed it with two little pips that click in, and then it would could wobble in and out like that. It'd have been a better idea than people poking and getting God knows what in there to try and do this. All right, now that should just slot in there, I guess. Just like that and push. Is that in? Fully in? I suppose it is. Yeah, it looks like it. There we go. Push it down. All right. Now I'm not going to put the the, the the lid on yet. Let's try it. So there's the board. Turn the lights out. Draw the curtain. Okay. Okay. Because they're not the brightest things in the world. Yeah, is that that? Hang on. Where's this other light? The three, three lights. Oh, the living room light. We need that. Right. Let's just give that a. Where's the magnet? A magnet. And you should just be able to walk, wave that. Bing. There we go. Look at that. Let there be light. And there was light. Okay. It works. And another. Oof. Does it work if you just go like that, or have you got to swipe it? Oh, let's just come near it. I can actually hear a click. Hmm. I don't know if you could hear that. Bring it closer. You can not really not yet see a mechanical click. Close to the microphone, wherever the microphone is on this phone. Listen. Click, click. There we go. Right, we'll turn it off. And we're going to put the coach back together again. And let's move my arm again. Right, so coach roof okay. should be easy on this one because it's the um not coach roof coach body there's the windows there's the seats which work for this coach but not for that coach they got i got that wrong i should have had because it hasn't got windows this end as you can see it's just got that one which is a 
Oh, it's frosted glass actually, which I had to mimic using magic tape and take the paint off. Oh, when you put the, this on, check the wires don't get caught down here. Good thing about these Mark 3s, there's no loads of detail hanging off them. And it just clicks down, I think, this side, that side, the ends maybe. I got that wrong, no, I got that wrong. I think I have to put it on the floor because you have to, on the workbench, put it off, get off. There's no real good positive location for putting it back again. Oops. What you do to find it's back is to check that there's no bits of black showing at the bottom of the blue. It is flush. It's gone right in. There's a little bit of black there, you can see. So I'm careful you don't press on those steps. There you go, use your fingernail on this buffer beam type thing that doesn't have buffers. It's quite robust, is that bit of plastic. Have a look at it. Yeah, there you go. Make sure these still work. Oh, that shouldn't make any difference. And like that. Yep, so a bit of white carbon can go to one side. Put that back in. Um, simple job of pop towards the camera for me. Make sure that's in. Oh, there's a little tab there. You see, that goes under there. I think should do. Like that. Push it in. I'll push the battery to its correct position. And very carefully. That's really black now. So the lighting doesn't get that at all. That's why a weathering works so well on black. It, it lights things. Let them see the detail. Put the screw back in, which Hornby should have made a captive screw, not one that falls out. So when you undo it, it stays in the in the plastic lid bit cover. Call it what you want. There you go. Nip it up. And voila, it is done. So I wouldn't call that easy, would you? How long has this been going? Forty-seven minutes. Nine. Good God. Three quarters of an hour to fit. Let me light him down. Yeah. It can need some fine tuning on the way it fits together, me thinks. I think. Anyway, nothing I can do about that. It is a lighting a, a kit that is dedicated to these coaches, so no one else is going to make them. It isn't a universal one. Because of that battery compartment, I suppose. Which these type of coaches with this underbelly thing help a lot. So, anyway, there we go. I should leave it like that, I suppose. So thank you for watching. Hope that should make it easier for you because all my mistakes and the difficult bits I've pointed out to you. Because Hornby always simplify these things. Fit this, fit that. Let me tell you how all the problems you'll find. So thanks for watching.